So a couple of weeks ago, my friend told me about moss bath mats. This was the first I'd ever heard of such a thing. And instantly I was very intrigued. The idea is having a moss bath mat in your bathroom that every time you get out of the shower or bath, you water it with the water dripping off of your body. Um, it stays alive and you also get the added benefit of getting out of the bath and stepping onto a bed of moss, which just sounds incredible. So I looked them up online and they are expensive. Like they're being sold for like 150, 200 pounds. Um, and I didn't really want to spend that. So I decided to make one. So this video is going to be my attempt at making my own moss bath mat. Who knows how this is gonna go? <laughs> I was in the countryside the other day, uh, up north. I had a lovely time camping. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't like planning on it, but I just ended up collecting moss because there was loads of it there and it looked really nice. My cat wants some attention. Um, so I collected some moss and today I've gone out and got the supplies I think I might need. I've probably watched like two very quick YouTube tutorials so I'm really just blagging this. Um, but I'll show you the materials that I'm going to use and the sort of method that I'm going to use. Um, and in this video we're going to be seeing if I can make my own moss bath mat. So the technique that I'm going to go for is using these foam floor tiles. You know the sort of floor tiles you usually get at the gym. Um, I was in B&Q the other day and I just saw these. So I was like, okay, we'll give it a go. I might turn them round so that the top is um, flat and have like the grippy bit at the bottom. So I've got quite a few. So the general idea <laughs> is I'm gonna glue two of them together like this and then I'm going to cut out the shape that I want. The glues that I've got, I've got a little super glue, I might just use that just to glue them together and then I've got a wood PVA glue, um, I know this is wood glue and this is not wood but I think it could come in handy but I've also got this um, spray contact adhesive which I think is going to be the best. So I'm going to have a base layer like this in the shape that I want and then another layer on top and then I'm going to put the moss on there cut out the shape of the moss um, and so there's going to be a little dent that the moss sits in it'll be easier to see once I'm doing it but let me show you the moss so I've left the moss in the bath it was in a bag for like a day or two but I've just put it in the bath, bath and given it a little water um, but as you can see it's very mossy, it dries up quite quickly, so I might just give it a little spray um, just before I start making this, but this is how it's looking. Now, first things first, I'm gonna glue the two bits of foam together, um, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> okay, so I ended up gluing them together with super glue. It's not completely stuck, but I think it'll be fine. And then I've just drawn with a very messy pen, a very rough outline of the shape of the bath mat. I mean, I don't know if you can really tell because I haven't really drawn it very well. I've just gone for a bit of a random organic looking shape, really. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out when I cut it. This is going to be the base layer. And then I'm going to do the second layer uh, after. And then I'm just going to use like the outline to draw the second layer so it will be a bit easier um but i'm going to use my stanley knife and try and cut out this shape so here we have the rough shape of the bath mat um i've just cut it with a stanley knife i've stuck these two pieces together although i think i'm going to put a little bit of extra glue in there now just to make sure it's secure then i'm going to do the same with these extra bits over here trying to get it um, a similar sort of shape, as similar as possible. So I'm basically just gonna place this on top and trace around it, um, cut them out, and then we need to go and grab the moss. But 
so far so good i'm not sure which way round i'm gonna have the bottom layer because my thinking is if i have it this way round and have it flat at the top and then have the other one the opposite way round so it's flat at the bottom then it will stick they will stick together better but then the top of the mat will look like this and although you're not supposed to be able to see any of this um, once it's all done so I'm not sure how big an issue that is probably not too big an issue but it also would be nice to have a flat top um, because I need to trace around each of the bits of moss and it's just going to be a little bit difficult with these bumps but I'll let you know what I end up doing um, but for now I'm going to go ahead and start the top layer done both of the layers cut out the shape that I want so I've got two duplicate layers of the foam mats um, next step is to go and grab the moss lay it all out how I want it on the top layer um, and then outline where it is um, and then I'll be cutting out holes in the top layer and then gluing it onto the bottom layer to form our base also, I just love how this little baby, Marley, hello, has to be with me all the time. Just sat in here doing some stuff on the floor and he has to find the nearest seat. Don't you? You say hello, everybody. Mm, gorgeous boy. He's so sweet. Moving on to the bit that I think is going to take the longest and be the most tedious. Um, I'm just going to do half at a time because I'm going out for dinner soon. And <laughs> I don't think I'll have time to finish it today. Um, so I'm going to start out with one half. But I've got my moss with me. And this is what I'm doing with it. Um, absolute mess. Um, but I've basically just placed lots of... I've just kind of torn off little bits and placed them um, on the mat and now I'm going to try and fill it out, space it so that there's not too much of the actual mat showing but there's enough space between each bit of moss that I can cut a hole and not have it just like go through um, and so I'm going to outline each different patch of moss and where it should be um, and then cut the hole. I might do like I might do it like um one at a time. So outline, cut, place the moss in there. Outline, cut, place the moss in there. Um otherwise it's gonna be really hard to keep track of where the moss goes. Um so I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna do this half. Wish me luck. I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I've still got plenty of moss for the other side, but that'll probably be waiting for tomorrow. Marley is super intrigued with what this stuff is on the floor. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start cutting and um, outlining and cutting and getting this top layer sorted. So this is what I'm currently looking at. <laughs> so each of these um, patches of moss, there's lots of little patches that I've kind of broke up. There's some gaps here, but I'm thinking that as the moss grows, it should fill out. Um, but top layer's done. I'm now just going to lay the bottom la layer down, spray it with the glue, um, and then place the top layer on top. And I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to leave all of the um, moss patches there rather than taking them out and re-putting them back in. I just think... I feel like it's probably fine for me to just leave them there and, and place the whole thing on top of this. Um, and then I'll put it in the bathroom, give it a water, uh, and I'll let you I'll let you have a look at how it <laughs> how it's looking. Okay, so I just need to make sure that I've got it the right way round. No, that's not the right way. <laughs> I 
Which way around is it? It's not that way. Is it like this? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So it turns out I'm just gonna end up um, gluing the two pattern sides down. Not sure if that's the best idea, but that's now how I've cut it. So I don't really have much of a choice. Um, so let's give this a go. does stick to some of the glue <laughs> then that's fine because I don't know how else it's going to stay in place it's actually looking a little bit sparse in some places now so I might go ahead and cut a few more holes um, and just put some of my spare moss in there <laughs> I'm just coming on here to let you know how my moss mat is looking. It's about a month after I made it. Um, and guys, my dream has just crashed and burned, really. I've been watering it every day. I've been trying to <laughs> make it blossom into this thing that I envisioned, but it's just not happening. This is how it's looking. I think I'm gonna have to chuck it away, which makes me really sad because it does still look kind of cool, but it's just dying and I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe there wasn't enough soil with it. Anyway, I'll show you how it's looking. It's been alive for a month. Um, but as soon as I don't water it for like a day, even with showers and stuff, it just goes brown. Um, so I'll show you how it's looking. But yeah, it's just not worked out, which is a shame. But I had to try it. You've got to try these things. I'm interested to see or like find out if anybody has ever bought a moss mat. Um, because surely the ones that they sell can't be dying so quickly and I'd really like to know what they did differently but here is the moss mat a month after I made it. So I don't know, it's a bit hard because I've got my shadow in the way. Uh, here we go, if I do it like this, you can see here it's just kind of brown and um, <laughs> dead looking. It's a little bit sad looking really. If you can see, I mean, it still looks kind of cool and there's patches like this patch over here is doing well, but in real life it actually looks a lot browner than it does um, on the camera. And Molly, what do you think? Should we get rid of it? I think we might have to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of me trying to make a moss mat. I mean, I did make one, it just didn't survive. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more creative fun videos like this of me making things that are being sold for really expensive um, and seeing if I can do it because <laughs> I quite enjoy making stuff like this um, but yeah Marley's my cat is literally in the toilet right now you can't be doing that um, but from me and Marley ew, now his paws are all over me <laughs> I'm gonna say goodbye um, thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one Bye.